All right, I will click new. Then, first, I will open the architecture template. Architecture template. Then, you see here we have create new. We have project and project template. So we are not creating project template. We are creating our project only the file itself. So based on this file, this project sample template, I will create my own template. So let's see. I'll click this project, then OK. Press OK. All right. So how do you create your own project template? We will see based on this system template. First, I don't like the view of this one. First floor, second floor, floor plan, ceiling plan, like this. Over here, you see this view all. Do you guys have this view all? You guys have this project browser? If you don't have, just right click in this working area, right click, browser, and project browser. Click there. In some of you don't have this project browser, right click, browser and project browser, it will show you, it will bring you the project browser. You guys are new. Look, this one sometimes it's over there, on one side. So up and down, you find it from here, the other one starting from the hub. So check it there. So I will change this one now, the organization of this floor level and ceiling levels. I will right click in this view and browser organization right click in this view you see here view all browser organization so from this dialog box we have all discipline not on sheet you can create new by yourself from here or you can modify that one also if you want to modify this this all let's see choose something discipline you see down discipline the second one, choose that one and press apply and OK. I make it to organize it using discipline. So architectural is a discipline. You have plus symbol, right? Click the plus symbol and it will extract. So we have floor, ceiling and elevation. If you want to change it again, if you don't like this one, just right click browser organization, I'll create new, okay? Click new to create new. Click on new, give it a name, uh, sample. Click on this new first, dialog box will appear, name, sample, then press okay. All right, under sample, here, group and sorting tab, click there. How do you want to organize these files? Now, architecture is a discipline, floor plan is family and type. In, if it is mechanical, it will show you mechanical is a discipline, HVAC is sub-discipline, and this, those floors are family and types. So, I will try to make a little change. It shows here, group by, click there and choose uh, family, family and types only because I don't want to see the name architecture, okay? Then, press OK. Click OK. And make sure this sample, make it the mark there, click there on the sample. So the mark will transfer down. After that, apply, then OK. Now look the change. Where is the, the word architecture? It disappeared, because that one is discipline. But I filtered it by uh, family and type. So those are the family and type. Floors, ceiling, elevation, those are the family types. So if you want to, if you like it this way, you can save it as a project template. So when you start any project, you can uh, start based on this one. So how to save it like a project template? Go to file, or the R symbol in some of you, save as, you have here Project and the other one is template, right? The ones that I created is project templates to save it for as a project template. So click on template. So I will save it on desktop. You remember the files that I gave you? Project, the folder. Yeah, save it there. Desktop. Choose project folder outside. Then sample, type it sample. 
file name, give it sample template. Now have a look here. When you save it as a template, by default, it brings you here template file dot rte. This is the ones that I told you before. Because you are creating the template, so by default the format type will become dot rte. Then save it. Click save. So now I will close it. Once you saved it, close it. Yes. We saved our sample ready template, right? How do you open that template? It's similar, same things. So we go to new. Again, when you click on this new, what comes here? This is our template architecture, system, and mechanical. So we don't have the ones that you created. How do we add it? The ones that we created the template now, the name sample. I will open that one as a template. So it's not mentioned here. So we have two ways, okay, to add that one. If you want to, if you if you need it to appear here in this view, we go to options and this file and then option by location, then we can add it here. We already see how to do it. I don't like to show you again that one. The second option, you see here, the second one, system default metric we have, right? You can rename it if you want. This system default metric, we can rename it into MEP. MEP metric. MEP metric. So don't bother. If you know system template, it's used for MEP words. So if you are going to be confused what the system template, you can rename it simply. Just click there, make it MEP metric. So once you press OK, that system default metric it will change into MEP metric. So you can rename it MEP, then you can press OK. <coughs> okay, again, I will open new, click new. So we will open the sample one, browse. There is a second way to open the template. Click browse. Then we saved it in desktop, right? Go to desktop. Choose from, drop down this one and click desktop and find the location where project, project folder, then sample template. Then click open. So once you click open, now the sample template is shown here. <coughs> it's temporary only, but it doesn't show you there. If you want there, you need to add it from that dialog box. So press open, OK. This is the template that we created it a while ago. See here, by type and family and type. Floor plan, level one, ceiling plan. <laughs> this is the ones that I created it. Now you know how to create templates. You know how to open the project templates itself. So close it. Until here, we have any question? It's all right. Okay.